Call in and ask your questions. Let's hey, everybody. About to go live. Well, all right, everyone. Welcome to Aging Insight. Uh, after uh, this particular episode is is going live right after our Thanksgiving break or holiday. Yeah, we uh, yeah we we got all of our Thanksgiving and decided that you know what we can still show up and we can do Aging Insight live for everybody while they're uh, taking a break from their weekend shopping madness. Well, either taking a break or maybe they're stuck in traffic or in a parking lot somewhere that's <laughs> listening that's, to the show. That's probably more likely, certainly. So, um, anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, John, I guess last week you were here all solo, weren't you? Yeah, I was here all by myself last week. Somebody was uh, off just uh, watching football games. Yes, I uh, was out last week at the uh, at the um, Dallas Cowboy practice facility there in Frisco watching the Texas High Tigers uh, uh, lose a, a, a very close game to uh, the form, the last year state champs of Highland Park High School. So, uh, you know. John and I, we're, we're keeping all up with the uh, with the high school athletics around here. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> so. that's uh, that's what you got to do. Um, and, and Lisa did note that uh, we, we are uh, we're simultaneous, simultaneously uh, broadcasting this both on the air live and as well as on Facebook live. Uh, if you uh, if you haven't already get on to uh, Facebook code, check out the Ross and Schollmeyer Facebook page. Uh, you can find us there and. Uh, you can you can see uh, see what it looks like behind the scenes, and at least for today's episode, you're definitely going to want to be there, either checking it out live or, uh, of course, this will be recorded on Facebook Live, mm -hmm. and you'll want to be able to go back because uh, we're going to leave some actual information on that Facebook Live post uh, for you to check out. So yeah. don't don't miss out on it. it. It's been a little while since we've done some some Facebook live, but yeah. and, uh, and, we're, and we're playing with it, you know just as we get to where we learn how to use the the, the, the board studio. the studio, <laughs> yeah. uh, we're gonna add a whole nother level of complexity to it uh, with the uh, with the Facebook live. So yeah, just bear with us well, as usual. Well, you know sometimes John, we we talk about stories or we talk about uh, well, well new stories or new laws or things like that and. And our, our goal is hopefully with all this technology, with uh, Facebook Live, we, we will be able to uh, share the links to where you can go read those stories or read those cases for yourself. Right. Or and, even maybe put up pictures. If like if we're telling a story about a real person yeah. or something like that, we can we'll be able to much more interactive. Yeah, but we're going to try it. And of course, the reason we can do all of this uh, and have so much fun um, trying out new things on <laughs> all of you thing. very patient listeners out there uh, is because of our sponsors, uh, the folks over at uh, Edgewood Manor, Dirksen Memorial Hospice, Calhoun Creek Estates, Christus St. Michael Health System, Texarkana Funeral Home, Red River Federal Credit Union, Heritage Plaza Nursing Center, and Reunion Plaza. Yeah, we appreciate those sponsors because, uh, you know, uh, while it is free to listen, it is not free to produce or, or get out over the airwaves. So those sponsors are really important to us. And and uh, as a matter of fact, John, uh, we, we've got a couple of spots open for some sponsors. So. We do. You know, starting for the new year, uh, we're probably going to have some new spots uh, open some new things going on. So uh, you're, you're definitely going to, if, if you're interested in sponsoring the uh, Aging Insight program, you're going to want to get in touch with as soon as you can. Well, and John, you know, usually we kind of recap our week and talk about where we were out speaking and gallivanting across the community. Um, but, you know, it was a short work week last week with the Thanksgiving holiday. And, and as we kind of cruise into the uh, you know, that that holiday time between Christmas and or between Thanksgiving and Christmas, uh, we're uh, we're going to be enjoying our uh, our families and, and maybe not quite out so much during these next three or four weeks. But uh, we will certainly be back at it come uh, January. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we don't do a lot of outdoors, uh, you know, the big speaking engagements. People are busy. Yeah, they're, they've got other things to do <laughs> besides come and listen to us run our mouth. Yeah, no, absolutely. They they don't want to uh, they don't want to see us. Yeah. Just uh, uh, they they want to go out there and find the GI Joe that's that that their grandchild is just dying for. Uh -huh. I saw a video this morning and they were showing the uh, the 1983 scenes from 
from the, the stores as everybody fought over the Cabbage Patch dolls. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing, John. You know, you mentioned the G.I. Joe, the Cabbage Patch. If you knew what the hot toy was this year, you really don't know. I, because, I have no because idea. Because you're what, out of it. <laughs> I have no idea what the what the hot toy is. That's that is certainly true. But I bet uh, I bet there's some grandparents out there and some parents listening that probably do know. I'm glad we don't need to know <laughs> those things anymore. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. But uh, well, that kind of just kind of brings us to. You know, it's one thing, it's 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 pretty easy buying um, a Christmas gift for small children. Usually they're pretty easy to please. Well, and, and I mean, yeah, especially, if, yeah, any anybody under the, about a teenager, you know, once they hit teenagers, just give them money. Yeah, just give them money and expensive stuff. Expensive right, bonus, absolutely. So that's what they want. But, uh, you know, what's always kind of difficult uh, as, as I got older and, and, you know, became more of a giver instead of the recipient, you know, as we get a little older. But, uh, um, <laughs> technical difficulty. technical difficulty yes uh, yeah you know, it was always difficult i think buying for the the most senior members of my family and uh, you know those senior members they uh a lot of times they they they've got everything they use and right, possibly sure. need <laughs> yeah um and, and, and if they don't have it they'll buy it for themselves yeah or they'll often. buy it for themselves or they'll just do it out or they won't even tell you that there is something that has caught their eye or that they're interested in. Um, so, so buying gifts for senior members of a family can sometimes be a little challenging. You know, my two year old niece, I got that, you know, it's, it's dolls or, or whatever, but my 82 year old, uh, uh, grandmother is a little more challenging. Yeah. That, uh, that can be somewhat difficult. So I thought today, since everybody's kind of, Everybody has been inundated with the ideas of Black Friday and shopping and the Christmas uh, and Small up. Business Saturday. Small Business Saturday today. That's right. And then Cyber Monday. Cyber on Monday. Monday. Absolutely. I, I think there's a there's a conspiracy to make us all just shop and spend our money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, d I don't know that it's quite a conspiracy. Well, okay. But it's certainly, uh, yeah. uh, you know, they 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 do watch it. But you know, people are generous. They want to do some. Uh, they do. They want to do some buying. They want to find something that people both want, need. You know, something that fills all of those voids. Yeah. So, uh, so I thought today maybe we'll keep it a little light and we'll talk about some uh, some some things that you can purchase for senior members in your family that we actually kind of. Figure out, they're actually useful. I mean, yeah, you know, absolutely. It's, um, not not just a waste of money. Not just something to wrap up and and say you're <laughs> you, you've gotten something for you know for dad or, or grandma. Right. Yeah. You know, and and uh, and like I said, there's there's lots of different parts to all of this, and you know, there's there's the little gifts, the little stocking stuffers, there's yeah. the big things. Um, you know, and and we just wanted to throw out some of the stuff uh, primarily that we, you know we just think would kind of impact a broad range of folks so impact a broad, a broad range of gifts a broad range of price points um just something for everybody right absolutely <laughs> so uh well, why don't you kick it off john well I, you know i think we can cut we'll start at the kind of the bottom end right okay you know the the kind of the cheap little things the little stocking stuffers um you know uh uh for the longest time as a child i thought that uh oh, santa claus only brought fruit uh in the stocking <laughs> So you, you had fruit, some old, you had some fruit, old fashioned stocking fruit stuffers. and some socks, <laughs> fruit and socks. That's what went into a stocking. Right. Um, it wasn't until I was an adult that uh, I realized that those those were supposed to be toys and things. Well, no, I just think that you you came. You, it sounds like your parents came from the old school where you know you got an orange, a peppermint stick, and some socks in your stocking. <laughs> well, you know, I, and I think that's that's right. You know, uh, so you know, when you talk about like some little stocking stuff, or it's just some, some little useful items, things like that. And, and one of them, you know, particularly if you're talking about uh, filling the stocking for that, for that senior, you know, one of the things that becomes more and more difficult is, is uh, just use of the hand. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you get up in the morning and some, uh, some, I know some of, heck, I even have this some mornings as the weather changes and it gets colder, you know, your, your fingers and your hands just don't, they're just not ready <laughs> to start the day yet. <laughs> yeah, no, that's and, that's exactly right. And so, you know, uh, I, and I've certainly talked to a lot of people if they get older, it, it seems to take longer and longer and those fingers are a bit stiff and, and you know, maybe you have a little arthritis 
in there. And so sometimes some of the simplest things like just holding a pen uh, can be a, a bit of a challenge. And it's and it's just um, I don't know, it's it's uh, it can be difficult. Yeah. So, you know, I, we we actually we kind of looked around and uh, and sure enough, there is a. Uh, a large grip pen out there that that is actually recommended by the uh, um, the arthritis, arthritis foundation. foundation or research center or something, and it's the single number one most popular uh, pen. Big big gel grip on it. Oh, so one of those little kind of smushy gel grips. You yeah, one of those little smushy gel grips on there. Uh, so you've got that sort of thing, and it's uh, it's it's supposed to be a great pen. Cheap, you know, a couple of bucks. You yeah. get a couple of them, throw them in the stocking. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I know. And when you get a good pen, you you, you like to keep up with it. Absolutely. I mean, I, I've certainly had, uh, you know, we, we use a particular kind of gel pen at our office. And I've had uh, seniors ask many, many times <laughs> if they can um, take it with them. <laughs> right. Right. So, so yeah, so a, so a big grip uh, a pen that is a little easier on on the hands is a is a great stocking stuffer you know and at like you say at a couple of bucks a pop boy you can you can just get a whole truckload of those and that right. way that way uh you your the your senior gift recipient always has a pen around that's right and uh, and so you know for those of you who are following along on facebook live out there uh you can go over to our facebook page ross and Schulmeyer, take a look at the video there and in the comment section uh, we have we're going to have links to all of these, and so I have. Uh, and now I'm not sure if these links are actually going to work. <laughs> Again, we're experimenting. <laughs> yes, technology being what it is, but we're going to play with it. Um, so you should be able to go into the comments and click on the links. Not sure if that's going to work just yet, but we're trying. We're going to try it. Yeah, we're going to keep going with it. So uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break, and then uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about some some others, and and you know where it's just going to get more interesting and uh, and and more expensive. Right, right. So, yeah, so you got, it's, kind of, it's kind of like the Neiman Marcus catalog. You got to stick around for the big ticket item. <laughs> That's right. On, on the back end. All right. That's so, right. Uh, so stick around. We will be right back. John or Lisa, call nine zero three seven nine three. Of course, yeah. That's uh, that's for them. We're still, of course, live for y'all. And while we're doing that, I'm going to see because it doesn't appear that that link is clickable. And I don't know here. So we're going to play around with it and see what I can come up with. Let's see. Yeah, it's just uh, one of those things trying to make all that all that work. <sighs> Did manage to go over and uh, check out my friends over at Barrage Bikes and Boards. Little again, you know that small business uh saturday stuff so uh sounded like though they had a, a great black friday oh good yeah well you know i always like supporting local uh, businesses and especially if they're kind of a specialty business that if you know, like barrage they're kind of the only local bike shop so that's right uh you know you can buy a bike at one of the big box stores and they can put it together and sometimes they do a good job and sometimes they don't but there's no there's no service really after the sale if you're buying it from you know walmart or something so i do like that uh, barrage is right here in town and boy they're gonna make you happy absolutely no no i will say that um they're uh, you know you might pay a little more than you would at Walmart or Target or Academy, but it's so worth it with uh, the support you get. So. No question about it. Well, like I said, we're trying to make this somewhat easier with the comments. Just not sure that that's going to work, but we're we're I'm playing with it now. We're going to see if we can make this happen. I got to refine the pen. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, uh, buying for senior members of the family is just because the last thing you want to do is just get them some another piece of junk that they don't need. They don't have any place in their house to put it, you know. Uh, but yeah. there's the code. 
Hmm. Can you just copy the HTML? I don't think I can copy the HTML. Let's try this. Oh, we're going to be back here in just a second. Yeah. It's about that time. Have a question? Phone 903-793-1071. Now back to Aging Insight with John and Lisa. Welcome back, everyone, to Aging Insight. This is Lisa Schollmeyer here live in the studio uh, with John Ross. And uh, you can see us live if you have a Facebook account and you go to Ross and Schollmeyer's Facebook page. And uh, you can, we should be up there. There we are. Yes, there right. we are. We're, we're, we are. Okay. Well, today we're, we're kind of, uh, we're, we're in the spirit. We're in the gift buying spirit. So we thought about uh, some things that particularly older members of our family uh, can actually use. Uh, and of course, some of these gifts, John, aren't just for older members, but you know, you can see where they're super useful for older members. So, so we talked about a stocking stuffer, uh, the, the big grip gel pen, uh, that it makes a wonderful, uh, stocking stuffer. But John, you know, one thing that a lot of my clients tell me about, and, and again, <laughs> I'm starting to experience some of those things is, you know, a lot of times, John, I just can't hardly sleep through the night without having to get up and uh, make my way to the restroom in the middle of the night. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, uh, it seems like that happens more and more often these days. Yes. So, uh, you know, a lot of times, uh, I mean, I know uh, where the restroom is and all that, but, uh, you know, I just find my way in the dark. But well, and you do have somebody else in the house that uh, maybe you don't want to bother. You don't want to flip on every light in the house. Right. And, and of course, the other problem is I, I could have left a bunch of junk in the floor <laughs> on the way no, no, between uh, the, the bedside and the bathroom. So I could I could be surprised <laughs> by that junk in the middle of the night uh, in the dark. So uh, one of the other gifts that you know, modern technology is pretty wonderful. Um, we've definitely kind of come a long way. And there is a set of motion activated lights that they're 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 very reasonable and essentially what you do is you just plug them in to the to the outlet yeah or or or, uh, or in, in other cases you can just uh, throw a couple of batteries in there and stick them against the wall. a wall or or yeah. uh, a door frame or whatever it is that you want to create some light when somebody walks past it right and so on um, those motion activated lights, you know, it kind of reminds me of if you've ever been on a plane and they talk about in the case of an emergency landing that the the lights on the floor will guide you to the nearest emergency exit. Right. Um, well, the same concept here with these motion activated lights that uh, they as as they detect some motion in the room, even in the dark, they will uh, turn on and then they'll automatically turn themselves back off, but uh, can light your way right to the, the restroom or the kitchen or whatever it is you are making your way. And then you can get back in bed and you don't have to worry about turning those lights off. That's exactly right. And, and, you know, I mean, to me, this is also a big safety issue. In fact, a couple of the things that we're going to be talking about today, it's, it's in large part, it's one of those things where, you know, people want to be able to stay independent. Yeah. And we talk about that all the time on aging insight, you know, age in place, stay in your home. And sometimes you just got to make some concessions to some safety things. Uh, and one of those things uh, uh, could be some lights to, to make sure you don't fall because John falls are the number one reason that people end up having to leave their home because a fall causes some, some, I don't know, sort of a, a snowball or a cascade of health issues um, as you recover from that fall. And sometimes you can't really stay in your home after that. So, well, and I mean, we often talk about how uh, essentially we, you know, what we see with our crisis planning is people that have had a, a health crisis that becomes a housing crisis because they can't figure out where they're going to live, uh, which ultimately then ends in a financial crisis as they realize that the cost of having somebody to care for them in the home can be extreme. 
that uh, the cost of assisted living and nursing home care can also be extreme. So, and, uh, so, I, so what you're saying is if, if a $20 set of motion activated lights, that is a, that's a small uh, that's investment. A sm that's a small <laughs> price to pay. And, and of course, while you're at it, um, if you're, if you're taking the time to kind of uh, go ahead and, and, and do some of these sort of things, you know, you're thinking, well, you know what, I'm going to get these for mom or I'm going to get these for dad and, and she can open them up for Christmas. And then after that, while you're there visiting, you're going to help install some of these mm -hmm. things. Um, while you're at it, you may check out a few other things like, for example, getting rid of the rugs. Yes. The rugs are a big tripping hazard uh -huh. as, as are frankly the dots and dogs. <laughs> Yes. But I don't know that mom will let you get rid of the dots. No, probably <laughs> the, the, the not. Weenie dog stay. The weenie dog stays. Yeah, the weenie dog stays despite what a tripping hazard the yes. weenie dog is. Um, yeah. And bigger dogs do, don't make that a better problem. Yeah, no. In fact, I, I had a client just the other day. That's exactly what happened. She tripped over her big dog. But but, but whatever. But yes, while you're, uh, while you're installing and helping mom or dad put in uh, some of these uh, things like these motion activated lights, good time to be able to gently have some discussions about uh, about safety issues in the home. Right. And, you know, actually, uh, in our first Aging Insight magazine, uh, we had a whole article in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I believe you wrote that article. Yes, I did. And, um, and, uh, and of course... We republished it a couple times. Yeah. And, and all of our back issues of the Aging Insight magazine are available on the uh, Aging Insight website. You can for just, free. For free. Absolutely. You go to yeah. www.aginginsight.com and uh, you can go on there and, and down at the bottom of the page, you'll see uh, links to all of the prior magazines out there and you can check those out. And... Uh, you know, uh, get information on things like that. That housing article was a good one. Yeah. Well, and so, so John, I like to deal with these, with these lights. Um, you know, you may find that you may have other gifting opportunities after you visit with mom, dad uh, about getting these lights installed <laughs> um, and, and just kind of sticking them and putting them up. Next thing you know, there's some, some grab bars to go in the bathroom and oh, yeah. some, lots uh, of, lots of good stuff. Okay. Well, and we've got a whole list of different items out there that we want to show you about uh, or tell you about and uh, and give you some links to if you're out there shopping uh, or if you're, you're going to do some uh, cyber shopping. These are all things that you can get online. By, Delivered to your door. That's right. So uh, <laughs> so uh, if you haven't already, get on Facebook, check that out, and, uh, and, and that way you can see those links on there. Um, you know, in the meantime, we got to take a news break at the bottom of the hour. Um, and but, yeah, but we'll be back because we'll we've be got back. lots of great stuff to cover on our list. That's right. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right. And uh, so we are back there. What I can't tell is whether or not our little, uh, I don't think the links are actually active links, but I can't really tell either. Let me see if they can come up here. But that's all right. One way or the other, you ought to at least be able to. Uh, um, yeah, you'll be you'll get the idea. You'll at least be able to maybe cut and paste those, even if they're not working directly. So. And of course, if you're out there and you're watching and and you got any questions, feel free to give us a shout or something and. Um, you know, if you're, if you're watching it and you like the show, uh, give us a like, uh, share it with your friends. Um, it looks like I've had several people who have shared the video or liked the video. So all good stuff. We appreciate everybody who's watching out there or, or checks us out. So it's always good to know that folks are interested in the information. Yeah, no, I can't get that link to work, but we'll get that figured out. One of these days. You know, unfortunately, when you're doing things that are live uh, and new <laughs> and new, you can't really test out live without it being live. That's that's kind of how live works. Um, but uh, but that's all right. Let me pull up our list of stuff here. Of course, we had lots and lots of stuff um, that we could have talked about, but uh, um, 
But these were just the ones that really kind of struck Lisa and I as being particularly important. I'm going to try to get the little small um, link instead of the big link. Right. Yeah, no, I love the fact that, too, that all these can be mail ordered, uh, you know, because I've just gotten to where, you know, getting out and about with the people in the parking lots and, you know, a lot of times uh, you've got to park way out or even all the handicap spots are taken if you if you have handicap tags. So it can be challenging to get out there and get shopping. So it, uh, mail order and, and online shopping, the best thing ever. That's right. It's good stuff. Let's see. And we're back in about Almost 10 seconds. Back on, yeah. I feel like I've been looking at this computer screen the whole time. All right, here we go. Phone 903-793-1071. Now back to Aging Insight with John and Lisa. Welcome back to Aging Inside, everybody. This is your host, John Ross, here live in the studio with Lisa Schollmeyer. And, uh, you know, we're in the uh, we're in the Christmas spirit. Um, although we didn't we you and I did not necessarily uh, participate in Black Friday. No, we, we participated in green. Yeah, it was Friday. called Go Green, Go, Go green, green Friday. You know, and, uh, and and basically what this is, is, uh, and in fact, this was a big thing that was pushed by the uh, Arkansas Parks Association. Yep. Arkansas State Parks Arkansas uh, State. said, hey, you know, instead of uh, going shopping, why don't you get out in one of the state parks? And uh, we took them up on that. That's right. So, uh, oh. so in, you know, we, we went out and enjoyed uh, the, the outdoor wildlife instead of the wildlife that... Uh, <laughs> That, that permeates the shopping centers during uh, this season. Yes, it, it, we saw lots of deer and, and even a, a snake friend um, on our little trek through uh, through Petty Jean State Park in Arkansas, beautiful place, and uh, weather was perfect, so couldn't ask for better. But, you know, uh, we're, we're still going to end up having some shopping to do out there. Yeah, so, uh, so we, we're kind of talking about some of the gifts that maybe uh, older members of the family might could actually use and would actually appreciate instead of just giving them, you know, a cookie jar or something to sit on the counter. That's right. Um, so, you know, we talked about a special thick grip gel pen. Uh, we've also talked about some some motion detected little light up lights that you can light your path uh, when you get up during the night. Um, a third item that I really like, John, is is a uh, it's an extra large digital clock with battery backup. And, uh, you know, this isn't just a, a typical digital clock. Um, this, this, it comes in a frame and the frame can come in all sorts of different colors, white, black, wood tone, you know, whatever. But this clock displays in very large letters, the day of the week, the actual time of the day. But then it also tells you if that time of day is morning or afternoon or evening or nighttime. And, and it also displays uh, the the month and date and year. So all of this in a nice little picture frame. Uh, and John, I really like this uh, because for a lot of our older folks, you know, if they do live in assisted living or in a skilled nursing facility, you know, the days can kind of run together. Sure. So so having a reminder of what day it is and 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 all of that is good. Uh, also, John, even for, for folks that are at home, this gift is is really nice. If you have a senior family member that that you suspect maybe having just they're just a little uh, maybe a little bit of memory loss. I mean, they're fine to be at home. They don't need any, um, you know, special care, really. But but sometimes they get a little confused or or, for instance, they lay down for a for an afternoon nap. And when they wake up, they're just a little disoriented, you know, don't know if it's. They've slept through the night. Or, yeah, no, that's right. It's, uh, but so this this clock uh, can help them kind of keep all that straight. And the reviews of this clock uh, have been fantastic. And then a lot of family members have given it to seniors and have just, you know, the seniors should just, you know, that's just a, some piece of information that they have that they can just feel confident about. Right. Well, and, and this is in a very large format, um, you know, uh, 
site being what it is? I know uh, so, so often when we're maybe executing a, a will or a, a trust or something in the office and, and uh, uh, you know, the clients have a hard time seeing that the small type right. prints, yeah. right? particularly some of the older clients. You know, it's one of those things where the, uh, the eyesight just, it just, it does go bad. Yeah, it does. And Over time, um, you know, I mean, that's not uh, that's not something that's particular to you. Um, it's just particular to everybody. Every time I go to the eye doctor, um, Doctor Allen over there, uh, he says uh, he says, "Well, your your eyesight's perfect right now." Right now, but he knows that it's not going to stay that way. Our our bodies just don't stay perfect our whole lives, and we we have some challenges, and our eyesight's part of that. But this. This extra large display clock can kind of help us navigate that a little bit and uh, runs about 50 bucks. Yep. Absolutely. So, so, you know, so far, John, we, we kind of started with, you know, the $2 kind of stocking stuffer and, and the, those motion uh, lights run around 20 bucks. So our, our extra large display clock with, by the way, has battery backup. So if the uh, lights go out, the clock is still there, it runs about 50 bucks, but, but John, I want to jump into a, a couple of products that are kind of related. And this has got to be some of my favorite technology stuff ever. Um, so, so a lot of, uh, a lot of seniors, they, it's just amazing. They, they, they're amazed by the technology we have these days. And, and uh, one of my favorite companies, Amazon, they have created a piece of technology that, really has given so much freedom to seniors or those who have some kind of physical impairments. Um, and the technology I'm speaking of, John, is the Amazon Echo. Yep. And the Amazon Echo is just, it's a black cylinder, or, or I guess now they have different colors. It comes in white and silver. And, oh, but yeah. It, no, you can get them in, in all kinds. But it's just a, it's just a little cylinder shaped, uh, maybe mm. what, about 12 inches tall? Yeah. And it, it, and it, sit, it can sit on your countertop. And, and in fact, I can talk about this because I have one. <laughs> right. Yes. And in fact, I, they were just talking about it on the Kim Commando show. Really? Were they? Uh, right. Right before mm -hmm. uh, you she, showed up. She must have stole our playlist or something clearly, for today. Clearly. But but the Amazon Echo, uh, it's this little cylinder tube, and you connect it to uh, the Wi-Fi or the internet at at the house. So. Yeah, this is one of those things that if your senior parent doesn't have internet, well, then you need to get some. That's right. But um, but essentially, this thing, uh, you can ask it what the temperature is outside, and it will talk to you, and it will tell you. Yep. And uh, you can ask it to set a timer or to play music. You can even tell it what kind of music to play. If you want to listen to Elvis Presley gospel, you can you can ask the Echo just with your voice. You don't have to get on a keyboard. You don't have to get on an iPad. I bet you know that particular one based on personal experience. Yes. Hey, you know, Elvis can he can he can call down the gospel. And uh, but you know, you just say uh, you you call the name of of the thing, and it, it's called an Alexa. And you say Alexa, uh, play Elvis Presley gospel music, and the thing starts playing Elvis Presley gospel music. And so, you know, it's it's a nice companion. It can read books. So if you have a senior who has been a reader, but maybe their their eyesight has gotten really too uh, too difficult to read, you can it the uh, Echo will read audio books to you. Yep, sure um, will. So it's just a great little handy uh, product. You know, if you're cooking and you can't remember well what temperature does chicken have to be at for before it's done, you can just ask it. And it will tell you. Right. <laughs> um, if you want to know the, the score of the Dallas Cowboy game, you can ask it and it will tell you. So um, I really like this Amazon Echo. I know there are some folks, John, who, who don't like the idea that you have something in your house <laughs> that could listen to you. Well, that was actually what they were talking about on the Kim Commando yeah, show. I missed it. Yeah. But I guess I just live such a boring life. I'm not really too worried about what my Amazon Echo may listen to. Yeah, in you're, my house. No, no, uh, no nefarious plots uh, <laughs> no. going on in the house. Yeah. Well, you know, now I will say a lot of folks, particularly as they age, become more and more intimidated by the technology out there. I visited with a lady. Um, this probably just a, a month or two ago. Uh, lives, in fact, lives uh, over there, right, right next to our office, pretty close, mm -hmm. uh, and um, very nice. Uh, has uh, 
uh, lives in town in large part because her uh, daughter and son-in-law live here in town and they kind of mm-hmm. help her out. And uh, last year, uh, son-in-law uh, said, you need an Amazon Echo. So this is a great thing. Um, it's still sitting in the box at her house. Oh my goodness. A year she later. doesn't know what she's missing. She doesn't. And, and But you know what? She doesn't, she doesn't know how to hook it up. Well, that well, see, that was where her son-in-law messed up. He should That's have exactly it up right. He, yeah, he should have been on top of that. So, you know, again, don't feel like you. Uh, most of these things are once once created, once established, once set up. The actual operation of them is very, very user friendly. Well, and I just want to jump in real quick before we get to our break on this Amazon Echo. They have created all sorts of uh, partner products that go with this Amazon Echo. Yep. So, uh, for instance, there are thermostats that you can put on your home air conditioning heating system that connect to the Echo. So, for instance, if you have if you have a little trouble transferring, getting up and down, instead of getting up to turn the heat up, you can just say, uh, you know, you can just say Amazon Echo, you know, turn the heat up to 72. Yeah. And it will do it. Um, right. Or, or, you know, you can tell it to turn the light on in the room uh, that is connected that has a, a particular kind of light bulb that matches with the with the Amazon Echo. So and there's just more and more products coming out like that. So, frankly, um, you know, it, it's just a fantastic product to help us uh, I, I, with accessibility issues. Well, um, you know, so. again, people say, yeah, you know, people will say, uh um, they'll say, John, you know, the most important thing to me is that I be able to age in my own home. I want to stay there as long as I can. Well, OK, that's fine. What are you doing to make that happen? Right. You know, have you have you remodeled the bathroom to make sure it's a little bigger? Right. Um, when it's when it's difficult to get up and down, then it, then every time you do that, you're creating a strain on yourself and on your body and you're creating a potential hazard that that could jeopardize your ability to stay there in your home right so if you if if as mobility becomes a problem you can do things like use the uh, the amazon echo to uh to connect to your thermostat to your lighting systems um in fact i think you can even go all the way through into your appliances and and other things but but again if you can at least control some of the basic functions like light switches um, with your voice with your voice then uh, you know now if if it's difficult for that person to get out of bed and back into bed safely and all they've got to do now is just say you know um amazon echo turn on the lights it's a lot better. And, and, and then, you, you know, now that person is staying at home longer. Well, and I understand, John, I haven't used this feature yet, but I understand you can now even use the Amazon Echo to make calls. So, right. you know, we talk about those commercials of, you know, I'm falling and I can't get up or, you know, the, the but if you can, if you can speak out to the Amazon Echo, you know, Amazon Echo call Jennifer, who is your daughter, because right. you have fallen. Well, then how fantastic is that? So, the Amazon Echo itself runs a hundred bucks or less. They're always running specials. I think right now an Amazon Echo uh, costs uh, about eighty dollars, and uh, you know you just order it from Amazon and you get it set up. Now the thermostats and the lights and the different things, um, yeah, they're sold separately. Sure. I feel like a commercial, <laughs> but um. But you know, I bet that, but I bet there are people out there that would be happy to also come and set these sort of things up for you. Yeah, you know. You know. So, um, so anyway, check some of that stuff out. We got a couple more we wanted to talk about, but we got to take a break. So uh, for those of y'all listening over the air, you got to stick around till after these commercials. If you're on Facebook Live, well then you're the stuck sh- with us. You're stuck with us. The show <laughs> keeps on going. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Yeah, there was actually a couple of others um, I was going to try to throw on there if I can. Um, I was going to throw on some links to the light bulbs. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the uh, Amazon Echo. I'm, I'm you know, I, I, there's just nothing that's go that that goes on in my house that if it listened, it, frankly, it would my Amazon Echo, if it were listening all the time, would be just be bored. <laughs> but uh, 
Um, well, yeah, the Kim Commando had said that, oh, uh, well, she's taken hers out of her kitchen. Yeah. What's she doing? Yeah. She, what's yeah. she plotting in there? Well, my favorite place for it's in the kitchen because when I'm cooking, I like to listen to music, which it will play, which I, I don't have to, you know, if I'm my hands are dirty from cooking or chopping onions, I don't have to touch the radio or anything. I can just tell it. And, um, or if I, if I need, uh, you know, how many tablespoons are in a cup? I can just ask the echo and it, it can tell me. So it's a, I mean, the kitchen is the perfect place for it myself, but, but I certainly can see folks having that concern. And, and then there's the whole internet of things, you know, with your thermostat and all connected that some people are, but again, I'm just not, not too worried about it. Yeah. Myself. No, I'm just not too worried about it. Yeah. I just don't think it's that big a deal, but it is a big deal for us to get back on the radio. Yeah. So here we go. Have a question? Phone 903-793-1071. Now back to Aging Insight with John and Lisa. Welcome back, everyone, to our final segment on today's gift guide. <laughs> Aging Insight gift guide. That's right. Um, I'm Lisa Schollmeyer. I'm here live in the studio with John Ross today, and we're just kind of going through a little list of gifts that we think seniors would really appreciate. Uh, we talked about some pins and some lights and... Uh, you know, some uh, some clock. We talked about a big clock and then we talked about the Amazon Echo, one of my favorites. Um, also, John, uh, there is a uh, there is, you know, the, a few years ago they came out with those electronic picture frames. Right. Because really what what I learned that older family members really liked are, are pictures of all the grandkids and, and great grandkids and 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 all that stuff. But frankly the old style picture where you print them out and hung them on the wall that's just about gone these yeah, days yeah and, and and frankly they in fact, still you stay know, updated with those millennials i mean they, they have even, they're they're saying that this will be the most photographed generation of people of all time that there will be no record of right because they won't print out any pictures but uh but there john you came across a photo frame that instead of preloading photos were electronic copies of photos that would that would display like a slideshow right um you found a photo frame that you could update from afar right i think this one was kind of cool because the the deal you run into and, and uh, we uh, you and i have bought the uh the the digital photo frames in yes. the past and you know usually you have to sit there and you plug it into your computer and you, you pick, download the you pictures. pick a couple of pictures and of course it's got its own memory and so you're limited into how many pictures you can upload into it of course memory is a lot cheaper now but but ultimately you're then stagnant right and if you want to change those photos you got to go through this whole process again and uh, and anyway this one that i saw and again there's a link to it on the facebook live video um this one is actually app based so so you're able to you know if i if i were to give uh if i were to give my parents this frame and then they can hang it uh, in their house or set it on a cabinet or whatever then i can go into the app on my phone anywhere i'm i am anywhere you are and i can change the pictures on there and i can upload new pictures and and all kinds of stuff and so you know it's you're constantly being able to refresh it and being able to change it and set it up really pretty neat yeah no i like that idea because uh you know a lot of times uh you know, a lot of seniors that families live in different places now and, uh, you know, they're just not right down the street like they used to be. So, you know, getting, you know, little grandchild's T-ball picture from the T-ball game that day. I mean, that would be super cool. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, all I, right. Like and, I said, I think that one's pretty neat. And uh, but how much does that photo frame run? Do you remember? Now, they're, they're a little pricey. Yeah. They're a little pricey. Let's see. I think... Uh, let me see if I can look for what that thing is. Let me see. Um, oh yeah, uh, just found it. It's uh, 169 bucks. Yeah, about 160 bucks. 169 dollars. Yeah. So that that is more of a uh, it's, it is a pricier item, but uh, but you know it, that's just cool. <laughs> it is. It is kind of cool. Now uh, that being said, um, uh, if if uh, you you would have to be careful if you're what photos you're putting on that thing. Sure. I mean, if you're a, a, a 
clearly a politician these days. <laughs> if you're a uh, congressman, who congressman, is inappropriate. Um, celebrity, uh, or, or um, you, you might not want to just automatically sync it with your phone uh, or anything like things that. Things to think about. Th things to think about. Well. <laughs> On that note. On that note. On that note. Moving, move, yeah. moving on. Um, and on a kind of a um, uh, kind of a, here's here's one that I think is is kind of a neat deal. Um, everybody likes a blanket. Yeah, you know, and so a lot of times. In fact, we got blankets as gifts in our office. We did. We had a a, a precious, wonderful, dear client who stopped by the office uh, before Thanksgiving and. And brought us all big, warm, fuzzy blankets to have on the couch while you're watching football or, t or movies. And very generous, uh, special, uh, special shout out and appreciation to our little client. Yes, that's awesome. Um, but, you know, everybody likes a blanket. And, and of course, you know, uh, uh, you get cozy, you, you fall asleep, get a good night's rest. But, you know, rest can uh, cannot come easy for some folks. Yeah. And, and and I think this is a problem, particularly as you get older and you have, uh, whether it's just some old age issues or whether it's some things like dementia and, and Alzheimer's, um, sleep can become a problem. Yeah. And they, they've actually done some studies. So, so the, we're, we put on our gift list a particular type of blanket that is supposed to help with these things. And it is a weighted blanket john and so you know it's almost kind of like the same philosophy as swaddling a, a baby but here you know it's it's for an adult it's a weighted blanket that uh and they've done studies about weighted blankets and they seem to decrease the agitation level yep. of folks who have some dementia or issues uh cognitive issues um just they just seem to bring a sense of calm to uh, to the adult who is lying there beneath that uh, weighted blanket. And, uh, you know, it doesn't it's just a little extra weight, John. It's not like it's a lead piece. Right. Of this, is, this is not a, it's not designed to hold you down. That's no. It, no. But um, but there's there's something. And I think, you know, you'll see little memes and stuff about this on the Internet. of People, that, you know, like a big pile of blankets on top of them. And I think that's because we do get some uh, some very base, uh, um, uh, some very base. Evolutionary type security. Exactly. From, from, exactly. Uh, from, so, yeah. So this is a weighted blanket. And I know that the uh, Alzheimer's Association, the big national group and uh, a lot of uh, like I said, there's been a lot of studies about using weighted blankets. They they do use weighted blankets in some uh, facilities, memory care facilities and all. And uh, so if you have a loved one who, uh, um, you know, just is always agitated, can't seem to get settled and get to sleep, maybe a weighted blanket is the is a gift. Um, it is a little pricey. Uh, runs about 160 bucks. Yep. And, and, and it depends on the size there. You can find them a little cheaper. Yeah. Um, for maybe like a twin size or something like that, all the yeah. way up to your big king size um, that can go all the way up into the 200s and yeah. stuff. So they a little different depending on the size and everything that you're looking for. Yeah. So so weighted blanket, that's a, a potential gift out there. And now, John, I, I guess we, we kind of saved our big ticket item. That's right. For for last. And, and, you know, one thing that I have noticed, you know, we are very, we try to be, be very thoughtful in our office. As far as if we have people coming into our office who maybe are on walkers or are on wheelchairs or are using some sort of assistance to get around. Yep. And so, you know, in fact, we bought when we bought uh, our office, it was that was a big part of it was making sure we had accessible entrances and all of that sort of stuff. Right. So so uh, and so we've, we've got, you know, a zero entrance where you can just come right in the door without having to go up any stairs. And and we have a a flat surface, non-carpeted floor. So you can kind of get, you know, you could roll your apparatus around without being uh, stuck in the carpet or a rug or something. But, uh, you know, a lot of times when ish when people face mobility issues, as far as walking and getting from place to place, boy, that just really limits their, their world and their experiences and what they're enjoying in life. Um, and so this last gift, John, um, it is, it is, a, it is a wheelchair, but it's a pretty fancy little wheelchair. Um, it's a, uh, 
it's a it's called an easy light wheelchair so it, or an easy light cruiser yes. I like that so this is a this is actually a folding electric wheelchair yeah so i mean think of, think of a wheelchair that you can that you could just like push a button and it folds up um, small enough to be able to fit into a trunk or yeah, so you don't a, have, even a back seat of a car. Yeah, you don't have to have a special bracket or anything on the car um, to hold it. You no, can it's, it's, it. it's heavy at 50 pounds. Yeah. But I don't know how much heavier that is than just a regular wheelchair. Yeah. Um, especially some of the older ones that are, you know, big steel tubing mm -hmm. and things. Um, but it, it is a, it's completely electric. So once you get that thing out, um, you got uh, you got several miles of charge. Yeah, you can you can run about ten miles on a charge. So, you know, especially when I see couples where one of them has some challenges with mobility and and the other one is you know uh, you know older themselves, just getting the wheelchair out and then pushing your loved one it, it can be pretty exhausting. So here, this little um, this little easy light cruiser wheelchair with the electric, you know. Once you once you get where you're going, you just plop in there, and then the person who's got trouble walking uh, can just zoom right around, do their shopping, and yeah, and then the, you know whoever's with them can doesn't have the doesn't have the strenuous task of. It push in a wheelchair is not easy. Yeah. So anyway, this this item is of course a little pricey because um, you know a compact fold up electric wheelchair, <laughs> uh, uh, but you know. Even so, I think it what runs what a couple thousand dollars. Um, so I think that's the yeah. No, that's going to be about. I mean, that's about a twenty two hundred dollar deal. And unfortunately, this is not something that's typically going to be covered by Medicare. Right. This is what they call a personal mobility device. This is not one of those little scooters. Um, but uh, but there are you know you might double check with your if with any other private insurance that you have because it might actually be covered mm -hmm. by some other insurances out there. So once again, I want to say thanks to Edgewood Manor, Dirksen Memorial Hospice, Calhoun Creek Estates, Krista St. Michael's Health System, uh, Texarkana Funeral Home, Red River Federal Credit Union, Heritage Plaza, and Reunion Plaza. Thanks to all of them. Thanks to all of y'all watching. Thanks to everybody that checked us out on Facebook. And you can check out the links to the different gift ideas on the uh, Facebook Live uh, comment section that yeah. will remain after today's show. That's right. It'll be there. So st uh, otherwise, we'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. And thanks to all of y'all. We will yeah. uh, we'll see you later. The preceding program offers general advice. It does not...